When capturing and displaying images on the web, it's important to make sure that our environment matches the actual image that's being produced. For instance, in this case, maybe we don't want this background to be showing, we just want to be able to have the shoes and the legs actually being appear in our product photo. Now, rather than trying to have a member of our team manually cut out each and every photo, we can take advantage of Cloudinary's AI-based background removal and do this on the fly. So once I have my Cloudinary URL Gen SDK installed and imported into my project, and I'm using the cld.image method to actually display my image, I can simply chain on the effect method and use E underscore background removal, where now at first you might notice that you'll first get a 423 response, meaning Cloudinary is now generating that image. This will only happen the first time that you try to load the image where it's processed on the servers, but then it's served from the CDN every time after that. But once the image is processed, we can see that we very easily remove the background from our image. Now, maybe instead of the background color of the website, we just simply wanted to change it to a different color. So we can chain on background color and then pass in whatever color we want, such as steel blue. Where now maybe with the solid color, we can pay more attention to the product itself. Or maybe we want to do something more interesting, such as just changing the background to a different image. Where instead of background color, after I actually resize, I'm going to add a new effect where I'm going to create a new underlay, meaning I'm going to present an image underneath my existing base layer, and I'm going to specify my public ID for that image. But then I wanna make sure that this background image doesn't exceed my original image, so I'm additionally going to crop it and set it to the size that I want by using C fill W600 to set a width of 600 and H600 to additionally set a height of 600. And once the image reloads, we can see that my shoes are now kicking it in space. Now, just to know, even though that I'm currently working inside of a React application, the Cloudinary URL Gen SDK is JavaScript based, meaning it'll work on a variety of frameworks, not just React. So in review, once we have our image set up and being delivered from Cloudinary, we can take advantage of the many effects and transformations, such as removing the background image on the fly by applying the E background removal effect, as well as being able to do things like change the background color and apply underlays to dynamically change how we're presenting the images on our site.